What's up, everybody? It's Frank Philly TV uh, with your host, Big Bro and Little Bro, coming at y'all with another uh, interesting video. And today's uh, video is going to be very interesting. Now, like I said before, this, this don't apply to everybody, but those that it does apply to, you know who you are, and I expect to see you in the damn comment box. But um, this is we're going to be talking about um, selfish women, right, Little Bro? Yeah. Selfish women. And of course, uh, like I said, y'all know who y'all are. It's everything is completely about y'all. Like y'all just make it everything about y'all. Like it's over a pretty much 80 over 20 relationship. Whether it's marriage or boyfriend or, boyfriend or whatever. But the way I see it is shouldn't be. It should be split down the middle where it's straight, strictly even. In other words, it's like, okay, babe. Uh, let's go to the uh, movies, man, and watch this. Uh, no, I want to go not only to the movies i want to go out to eat and i want to go do this and you're going to do this and it's like damn where do i have an opinion where do i stand in this relationship that makes some gestures or whatever the case may be or what we would like to do yeah but it's everything too yeah damn near everything and then also you gotta think about this too it's always funny how like i said with the money issue it's like it's cool for us to come out our damn pocket Mm -hmm. Like when it comes down to the gas, like both of us, mind you, we both, both mind you, I drive the damn car and I drive your ass back and forth to work or wherever it is you need me to do. But I got to put damn near 30, 50, 60 dollars in the damn gas tank and you get to keep your little damn money in your pocket. Right. You get to keep your little money in your pocket. Right. And now when we go out to eat, Olive Garden, I got to spend damn near about exactly about the mill 50 60 bucks for both of y'all shit i gave i mean don't get me wrong i don't mind pay, paying the bill but not every goddamn time you got me like what's 30 50 bucks you know what i mean where you gotta simply just split it you want to cut your phone off man like i said they man the Frank they, 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 they fucking up the joint you know what i mean but excuse us anyway um it's just periodically when is it going to be for y'all some of y'all ladies to be able to say you know what boo don't worry about that i got that Right. Don't worry about that, boo. Oh, I'll take care of this, man. You ain't got to worry about that. Keep your money. Because I know you, you've been a hardworking man. You str you're doing everything you possibly can. It's all good. I'll take care of it. When is it ever going to be like that for us, ladies? Instead of it just strictly worrying about all of y'all. It's always about, I want to choose where I want to eat at. I want to choose what I want you and I to wear. Oh, I want to choose... At the uh, wedding. The wedding they pick out the clothes they pick out their outfit your outfit the color the her theme. dress the thing the the color past, of the table the damn pasta the limo everything the the, the, the bouquet and half everything the, time, the ring that you get the girl is always better than the ring they get you exactly the man ring can be five dollars but the woman ring gotta be glistening million, 20 glistening, glistening two carat yep so basically uh what big bro was basically talking about uh next is basically just talking about the 80 20 relationship and how a lot of times whether it's a girlfriend boyfriend relationship or whether it's even in the marriage it seemed like it's all about the woman and how men spoil you women and then that was a time dante back in the day where um men it was only labor jobs and jobs for men mm -hmm. but now there's jobs out there for women so women are making just as much as as men now you know what i mean but um, it's how women, y'all have like a, a even a checklist. You know what I mean? Y'all have a checklist. Um, I want my man to have money. I want my man to have uh, a nice car. I want my man to have a nice house. I want my man to do this for me. I want my man to do that for me. And it's just not enough balance. You know what I mean? Not a balance and there are all. certain duties in the household when you have a girlfriend or boyfriend or when you're married that should be carried out by the man taking out the trash should be carried out by the man mm -hmm. um washing the clothes is something that the woman would do the dishes is something the woman would do but why do the man always got to go in his pocket and pay for you when y'all going to a movies who said that rule like who made that rule up uh and you have to have a lot of money too because a woman always went baby can you pay my cell phone bill or you can't um, be with me unless you pay my cell phone bill. You can't be in a relationship <laughs> with me unless you give me. Um, I want to get my weave done, or I need. I need you to pay for my nails. It's just not. It don't like it's an equal balance. It's like it's all about the woman. And why in our society it, it is acceptable for women to basically use men, and for men always to provide, but women can never give back. You know what I mean? If a woman, even Valentine's oh, Day. Oh ho ho! 
they know how they way to get back in the simple. And y'all do this all the time, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hear a lot of bullshit. But what's gonna happen is they think it's because that thing between their legs, they can easily spread open periodically from time to time. That's our gift right there. That's our pay. That's our, that's our payback. You they, know what I mean, they, they think that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. That, that if I give him, if I give him, did. if I give him the sugar walls, if I give him these sweet sugar walls, this sweet candy, he'll shut the fuck up. He'll be ready to come out of his pocket some more. But at the end of the day, there's much more to it than that, ladies. Like I'm like me personally, but don't get me wrong. I love the sugar walls that y'all got, y'all, y'all blessingly to give away. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like it got to be a balance. Whereas though, it's like. Okay, I do for you, you do for me. It's not more so me doing for you and you not doing for me. It shouldn't be like that. And I noticed that a lot of women that I've known, like, for that man's birthday, they don't do nothing. They say, I'm going to just uh, give him some pussy and suck cook his dick. Him, cook him a meal. No, 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 no. It ain't the pussy part. It's, I'm going to cook him a meal. I'm going to cook him a nice little meal. I'm going to, um, not the whole three. They don't, these motherfuckers don't even give us a, a threesome. Or nothing like that. And we're going to be in the house. At least make it spontaneous. Like, okay, I'm going to bring a good enough second girl or something to the picture. But no, I'm just going to make him a meal. Something that you probably cook all the fucking time. Yeah. And I'm going to suck his dick. Right. But if we Talk fucking... about Valentine's Day or your birthday. You got to buy her, give her $100 <laughs> and give her Gucci bags and... Uh, what's that stuff? You know the name where it goes out Nick, 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 whatever, no. <laughs> all this other stuff. You gotta buy her, give her the whole fucking world. You gotta give her the house. Even when it comes to the house, she, it has to be the house she want. It has to be where she want to live. It has to be the color car she want. Gotta be a pink car. Gotta be, I mean, the perfect outfit. It's always about, it seems like it's, it's one side in that it reminds me of slavery because it's all about the man providing for the woman but the woman can never come out her pocket or at least pay your half. Even in slavery days, who was in the fucking cotton field? Our ass is getting whipped, burnt, smacked the fuck all around. I guess I understand master, that. I guess I, master. I guess I understand that since the women are weaker. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, like, I'm just saying, like, we we was out there getting our ass whooped. And then when we right. came home, y'all was supposed to provide for us, wipe our wounds, fill us up, get us back and ready to go back out there. But at the end of the day, and it's like... We this go. Is, this go back to what me and Dante was talking about the other day. It's more a black woman issue than anything, cause y'all really be the one with the checklists and the high expectations. Don't want to give up shit. You know what I mean? Right. But even Valentine's Day is always. I see a whole bunch of men getting stuff for Valentine's Day. This big stuff. Big ass. And teddy a woman bears. always just gets some teeny little thing. Yeah, we come. Let cheap me come in the thing. fucking crib with a teeny little bear and a man of candy. Like, baby, I was married to a woman. The, I, you know, I'm a one something. I'm gonna want something more than just some fucking sex. You know, buy me a motherfucking um uh, uh, buy me a, a, uh, a, a, a buy me Xbox a buy me a Michael buy me a, bring me an MK a core watch or bring me a fucking pair of jeans. Like it is what it is, man. Like I said, man, until y'all learn exactly what the fuck that means, the better y'all be off. Cause trust me, man, is in this world, man, it shouldn't be one sided. It should just be equal. But I think our society that we live in has always been made about providing for the woman. And I think they take that Bible scripture a little deep too when it says that the man is supposed to be the provider and provide for the woman and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. that's what they what they base it off of. But that's pretty much it. Um And of course, like I said, y'all don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, you know I mean this is Frank Philly TV with your host, Big Bro, Little Bro, where we keep it fucking funky. And uh until next time. Peace. Later.